What is up everybody, Sysadmin Sean here, and today we're gonna to try out something new, Verge. Now Verge is a company that's been around for a little while and their product is fairly mature. Uh, it is a replacement for your hyper-converged solution. So if you're running VMware and you're hyper-converged, you can go to Verge. If you're running Nutanix, you can go to Verge. If you're running Proxmox, you could go to Verge. Um, but it is a hyper-converged product. It is not a compute nodes storage separate type scenario. So be aware of that. We're gonna be setting up a two node cluster today. I'll show you kind of how the installation goes from the first primary node and then adding in a second node. And then uh, we'll pull up the screen when we're done and you can see kind of what things look like after it's installed. All right, here we are at the Verge install screen. Uh, it's pretty simplistic. We're just gonna go into install standard. So we'll hit enter here. It's gonna run through some quick loading into memory and things like that just to get the software prepared for installation. Here we're at the first screen. We're gonna be doing a two node install. So we're gonna pick a primary controller as our first choice. <clears throat> and then we'll be configuring some options to kind of lead into that second node. So we're not joining, so it's new. Then we pick our time zone real quick. You can go to regular US time zones. I did America, so I'm gonna go to New York. Leave this empty people alone. That's all good, time's all good. Uh, now you set up a name for your cluster. So you have to configure this and then Verge learns about it. You set up an admin user, <clears throat> set up a password, obviously. Uh, plug in an email address for alerts and things like that. So I plugged in that one. I'm gonna be setting up four NICs, but really just three, but it does detect four, so we're gonna use those. So our first two ports that we're gonna configure are 10 gig ports, and they're actually gonna be combined together um, with our second node without using a switch at all. It's just gonna be dummy connections between the two, and that's gonna manage all of our storage hyperconverged. And these are called core networks or core switches. And so we'll go ahead and set core number one here. And you have to leave the MTUs at this 9192. And we'll do the second one the same way. We'll call it core number two. And then we'll go to our next active network. And this is where I made my first mistake. <clears throat> so this is going to be the network for uh, like external communication, stuff like the UI, your your management network, your, your VLANs for your servers and things like that. This does not need to be a core network and the MTU can be lower, but you should not set a VLAN here and you'll see why later. And then we'll go ahead and set this fourth connection just as an, an extra. We don't have anything configured for it right now, so we're just gonna set it up so it, it's complete. And then it's asking us which one's gonna be our UI, LAN, WAN access. It's gonna be the management switch. So we hit enter there. We should not set a VLAN ID here. DHCP is fine. Verge IO, I'm leaving that alone. I think I delete it, but then come back and put it back in. <laughs> That's just what it's gonna to do to register to the DHCP server. We leave the domain blank. And then it's gonna ask us if we need to set up a maintenance network. I'm pretty sure I just sort of skipped this for now. I might've put it on management. I put it on, on extra. None of this matters right now. You can change all this later. Um, I really don't need a, man, a maintenance network at this time. Yeah, and then we're gonna hit done. And then this is for the update servers. I didn't want to configure this at this time, so I hit cancel. You can configure that in that UI later, like it says. And then we're not going to be encrypting our disks. Now this is important too. Your disks in Verge have tier levels and you need to set a disk to tier zero 
for installation of the actual Verge software. So I set one to zero and I set the others to three because they are SSDs, but they're not amazing SSDs. <clears throat> so we'll get all that configured and then we'll hit done. And then I'm not setting up a swap or anything like that. And then it's going to format all of the drives for the installation of the software and for the vSAN. This is a hyper-converged solution, but you can do things such as build a NAS inside of it, offer NFS shares, SIF shares, things of that nature from the device, much like a lot of other hyper-converged solutions offer. But you can't, uh, this isn't made for attaching like a SAN to it. You need storage nodes and compute nodes and things like that. Traditional hyper-converged situation. And then it's going to mount the vSAN. Add the drives to the vSAN. Build the partitions and all that. Some final cleanup steps, and then we will be rebooting. And that's pretty much the first node installation for a Verge cluster. So we'll go ahead and move on to showing off some stuff and then installing the second node. Now once your first node is all finished and configured, after we've made our changes to fix things that I messed up in the install, we're going to go ahead and go through the second node install. It's pretty similar, but actually a lot quicker because there's a lot that gets uh, handled by the first node. Since they are connected together, they can communicate and the node one will configure node number two. So once this gets all up and, and sorted, we'll see that. <clears throat> we'll be sticking with the same controller main situation here, but we're going to say that this is a part of a cluster as opposed to not a part of a cluster because it is a secondary node. Oh, I also remember too that I had a problem with my keyboard and I didn't feel like fixing it at the time, so we'll be using the on-screen keyboard for a lot of this configuration. So we'll hit no here because we are joining to an existing system. Uh, yep, same username and password needs to be entered in so that it knows to communicate properly. Oh no, you guys know my password. It's going to try to auto detect Nix. There's the first one it detects. So on and so forth. It'll find all four and then it will actually just mimic the configuration from node one to node two. So we really don't have to do anything from this point. And then we'll configure the disks the same. This is something that you do per node. So we'll do a tier zero and the rest is tier three, just like we did node one, so that they have somewhat matching disks. <clears throat> and now we can see our second node is starting to get connected to node one. There will be a little bit of configuration hiccups as it finishes rebooting and getting all of its services configured. So here's what uh, Verge looks like, its dashboard after it's been installed. And I'll go ahead and disappear. Whoop. And you can see that we have kind of a different layout than most uh, virtualization products. Now, this is running pretty much just the same as Proxmox. It's uh, QEMU, KVM solution, but they have some really interesting features that I will talk about in, an, in the next video related to this, but I did just want to show this off. As you can see here, we have our two nodes that we set up it earlier. We can go back home here. We can see that I already have a virtual machine running. We can see that that's right over here, name test. You can pull up the console right here. There's the machine. I was trying to run Yum Update and I didn't like that for some reason, so I've got to review that. Um, you pretty much manage everything via this left-hand side. So you've got tenants and machines, catalogs, a NAS device. So this can spin up its own sort of NAS appliance for you that can do things such as NFS shares, SIF shares. You can store snapshots there, manage volumes, things like that. Um, <clears throat> media images, so on and so forth, backup and DR, storage. So this is where you do your storage info, like we discussed with the different tiers based on what kind of storage you want to manage. Your sites is where you can see a geolocation for your different cluster information, things like that. And then of course under system, that's where 
your system major information is available, your updates and all sorts of cool stuff like that, which we will cover in another video. But that is all for this one for the first setup. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're interested. I'm going to be doing a videos over most of the features and kind of showing off sort of how things work in the system compared to things like Proxmox, XCP, VMware, Nutanix, those sort of other options. So I hope you enjoy it and stay tuned for the next one.